Okay, Fish to Care, welcome to Fish's Kitchen! Sorry I haven't had a Fish's Kitchen in a while. Um, I have couldn't really get an experiment to do with stuff because I didn't have the stuff that I really needed. Anyways, today, as you guys can probably tell from the title, we are going to be making a homemade bouncy ball. All you guys need for this experiment is two bowls. Bowl one, bowl two. Glue. Food coloring, doesn't matter which color. I just chose blue because, you know, a fish and stuff. A whisk. It's a little mini one. Um, you're going to need some cornstarch. Borax. And you're going to need also a tablespoon, a half teaspoon, and a normal teaspoon. Anyways, so step one, you're going to get half a teaspoon. So we're going to take our half teaspoon of borax, so we're going to get this, and I'm going to do this over this bowl. Get a little tiny bit. Just a little bit of borax there. Just a little bit of borax. Get in the, get in the, oh. <laughs> it's a little chunk. <laughs> okay. A little bit of borax. A little bit of borax. Oh, okay. That's good. Probably way too much. <laughs> Spilled it everywhere. Okay. And we just, just, you know, just, just, get yeah. Half teaspoon of borax. Then, you need two tablespoons of warm water. Take a tablespoon. Have some warm water over here. Let me just test. It's definitely warm. Oh. Pop it in there. Then, stir, actually no, not yet, add about five drops of food color, so I'm going to put blue, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, then you stir it up, jeez, mine looks like a pit of oblivion, I'm just going to try to get rid of the chunks of borax, so just chill on it, there we go, you can film a bit closer if you want, get a better view on it. Looks like the Arctic uh, Ocean, this stuff. Just little chunks of borax are so annoying. Oh well. <laughs> Nothing can be perfect. Okay. Anyways. Oh well. Um, next, we need a tablespoon of glue. So take our tablespoon. I'm just going to take off this cap because I'm going to need a bit more than usual. Alright, come on. Hopefully. Yeah, there's still glue in here. Let's just pour a little bit of glue. Ugh. It's a tablespoon. Don't worry, guys. I'm doing this right. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's probably enough. There. Okay. Then you plop it in to your second bowl. So... Get in the bowl. There we go. Let's just use this. Scrape it. There we go. Scrape it in there. Let's put this. Do we need this again? I don't think I don't think we do. Should keep this out here in case we do need it. Okay. Anyways, next we take one tablespoon. Oh, so we do it again. Okay, tablespoon of this stuff and plop it in. Oh no no no! A tablespoon of cornstarch. Sorry guys, I got it wrong. Get some cornstarch. Quickly, uh, get something to wipe off the glue. Here we go. Get rid of the glue on it. Thank you. Just wipe it off. Just so we don't get any glue on our fabulous substance that we've already created. There we go. What is new? So, we take a tablespoon of cornstarch. Yes. That's what we do. Then, get our cornstarch, 
plop it in the little bucket, mini bucket. Let's do it over. Tablespoon is probably a bit too much. There we go. Nice and easy. Got ourselves a little bit. And we plonk it into bowl two. Like so. <laughs> Here we go. So, I think that's all we need that for. <coughs> Lots of there. Okay. Now, we need to stir it. Wait, did I read this wrong? Oh, we're actually supposed to put this. Don't worry, guys. It's not that big of a deal. We need to take a tablespoon. Yeah, right? No, a teaspoon. Teaspoon of, the, teaspoon of this. So little. Put a bit more in there. Take, take about a teaspoon of this. Plop it in there. Now we stir. And we're stirring. And you're going to want to stir this for a while. Trust me. Okay, I think we're going to need to put more of this in here. Let's just pour a bit. We're all friends here. Nothing's wrong. There we go. That's probably way too much. <laughs> I'm not a very good scientist. So, I'm going to stir this around here. Let's get this. Just kind of get it off. I think I'm already almost done. Alright guys, so, if you whisk it enough, then, if it, once it gets kind of hard, kind of like this, and it's not really going anywhere, then you can kind of pick it up and just kind of roll it into a nice, lovely ball shape, which I suck at doing, so I'm just going to roll it around and stuff. Alright. Almost done. There we go. Thank you. And I think there it is. Now, don't like roll. I'll just finish rolling it up and then just bounce it around. It's gonna splatter everywhere. What you wanna do? You wanna wait five to ten minutes? And then you kind of feel it, and if it's dry, then you can bounce it around, and hopefully, if you if you follow my instructions right, it hopefully will work. Uh, probably won't because I'm an awful scientist. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this fish's kitchen. My name is DJ Fish Dick, and I will see you all later.